Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about web application firewall. My name is Sushant Satish and I'm your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So what is web application firewall? A web application firewall provides centralized protection of your web application from common exploits and vulnerabilities. Web applications are increasingly targeted by malicious attacks that exploit commonly known vulnerabilities. SQL injection and cross-site scripting are among the most common attacks. Preventing such attacks in application code is challenging and it can require rigorous maintenance, patching and monitoring at multiple layers of the application topology. A centralized web application firewall helps make security management much easier. A WAF also gives application administrators better assurance of protection against threats and intrusions. A WAF solution can react to a security threat faster by centrally patching a known vulnerability instead of securing each individual web application. So I'm going to take you to the Azure portal and show you how you can create an application gateway with a web application firewall. So first I'm going to click on create a resource. Under that I'm going to scroll down to networking and I'm going to select application gateway and click on create. So let's fill the basic steps. So I'm going to select the subscription, select an existing resource group and provide the application gateway name, pick a region and you have a tier as well. So within that you have standard, standard version 2, WAF and WAF version 2. So I'm going to select the web application firewall version 2. So for Azure to communicate between the resources that you create, it needs a virtual network. And you can either create a new virtual network or use an existing one. So for in this demonstration, I'm going to create a new virtual network at the same time that you create the application gateway. So click on create new. Provide a name for the VNet and I'm going to select both address space and the subnet. So the first subnet is the application gateway subnet. So I'm going to name it as application gateway subnet. And we need to add another backend server subnet as well. So I'm going to create a new backend subnet and click OK to create it. And click next to the front end tab. So on the front end tab, you can configure the front end IP of the public or private as per your use case. In this demonstration, we are going to click on public and create a new public IP address to so give a name and click OK. And next step is to take you to the backend pool. And the backend pool is used to route requests to the backend servers that serve the request. And the backend pools can be composed of NIC, virtual machine scale set, public IPs, internal IPs, fully qualified domain names, and multi-tenant backend likes Azure App Service. In this example, you will create a empty backend pool with your application gateway, then add backend targets to the backend pool. So I'm going to click on add backend pool and enter the name. So I'm going to add the backend pool without any target and click on add. Next, go to the configuration tab. On this configuration tab is where you will connect the front end and the backend pool you created using a routing rule. So first click on add a routing rule. Give a name for your rule and give a name for your listener. And the front end IP, select the public IP and accept the default values for the other settings on the listener tab. And then select the backend targets. On the backend target, select the backend pool. And for the HTTP setting, select create new and give a name for your HTTP setting. Select HTTP, leave the port to 80, leave the cookie affinity and the connection draining to disable and review the setting and click on add and click on add to add the routing table. If you want, you can add the tags and in the next review and create tab is where you click on create to create your virtual network, the public IP address, the application gateway with WAF in it. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about Azure Frontier. So I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.